Hello and welcome to Naughty Egg Draw. I'm Jake, and today I'm here to bring you into the world of digital art. Uh, so this video is really for beginners. If you're trying to figure out what you need to buy uh, to get yourself started with digital art, because if you're like me, I had no idea what I needed to get when I first started. So throughout this video, I'm going to be kind of showing you different things that you guys can look at, different products and different resources that you guys can use to really get yourself started. And in this video, when I'm talking about digital art, I'm focusing mainly on like 2D digital art, using things like Photoshop or Animate CC to create all your work. All right, let's get started. All right, so first things first, this may come as an obvious, but you're gonna need a computer. Now, if you're just starting out, you don't need some $2,000 powerhouse computer, but you are gonna want something that can handle a decent workload. Here are some recommendations I suggest for beginners when looking at computers. Now there's always this argument of Intel over AMD or AMD over Intel. If you're just starting out, just run an AMD based system. You can get a lot more bang for your buck. Now for the processor, you're going to want a quad core processor, something like the AMD A10, uh, which only runs about $100, which isn't bad at all for a processor. I recommend at least eight gigs of RAM in your computer. Now I run 16 and 16 runs great when I'm opening up multiple different windows in Photoshop and all that other stuff. It's just really smooth. And last but not least, you're gonna want a decent graphics card. Now this part isn't 100% necessary, but I do recommend getting a graphics card if you want a smooth workflow. Now I use the NVIDIA GeForce 960 and I love it. I highly recommend any of the GeForce graphics cards. Now I get a lot of people asking me if I draw with a mouse. And no, no, I do not. I use a drawing tablet. And if you don't wanna feel like you're drawing with a potato, yes, potato, then you're going to wanna get a drawing tablet. Now, there are huge varieties of drawing tablets out there. Uh, the one I recommend and have always used are Wacom or Wacom or Wacom. I say Wacom, you can leave a comment below and tell me I'm saying it wrong. I'll probably still call it Wacom. Now, there are other tablet companies out there like Huion. I've personally never used Huion. Uh, they look very similar to the Wacom tablets, but I've used Wacom tablets for over six years now and I love them. Uh, they have excellent customer service and they're just absolutely beautiful and amazing products. Currently, I am using a digital touch display tablet called the Cintiq 13 HD. Now, as amazing as the digital displays tablets are, I don't really recommend them for beginners, mainly because they're gonna run you about a thousand to two thousand dollars. Yeah. Don't let the depression kick in too quick here now. Uh, there are very affordable tablets. Um, you can start out like I started out. I got the Wacom Bamboo drawing tablet, um, which you can get an Intuos tablet now, which is just larger versions of the Bamboo. Uh, and they range between $50 to $200 depending on what size you get. And if you really want a digital display tablet, uh, check out the Huion digital display tablets. They're, they run about $300 to $700. Again, I don't have any personal experience with them, uh, so I won't be able to give you any input on that. But with the Wacom and Huion tablets, they're great. They, the pens run on a pressure sensitive system which really gives you a lot of control and range when drawing. It may, really makes it feel like you're drawing with paper on pencil. With paper on pencil. All right, now that we got the equipment out of the way, the last thing you're gonna need is a program that you can draw in. Something that's probably not MS Paint, though you probably could use MS Paint. I wouldn't really suggest it. Uh, so everyone kind of knows about the Adobe products, products like Photoshop, Illustrator, Animate CC, or previously Flash. Uh, the only problem is with the Adobe products is they do cost money. And if you just went out and bought yourself a computer or a tablet, you're probably not really wanting to spend a lot of money on the program as well. Well, that's okay. You can find a lot of products out there that can do the same job and they're free. Uh, products like GIMP, MyPaint, or Fire Alpaca. Now, I personally use the Adobe products now uh, but I did use things like GIMP and Fire Alpaca when I just started and I didn't have the money to get the Adobe products. And I was honestly really pleased with those programs. All right, so this last tidbit uh, is just kind of me talking about different things that I picked up over the years of drawing and things that helped me get to where I am today. 
the first thing I kind of want to bring up is a drying glove. Now, these are great. They cost only about $10, and what they do is you put, you know, you, you wear it while you're drying with a tablet, and it keeps your hand from skidding and skipping across the surface of the tablet. Now, another thing you're going to want to maybe get is a wooden figure. I'm sure all of you guys have seen these before. I never used them when I first started. I thought they were dumb or something. I don't know, maybe I thought I was a bad artist if I was using references, but they're great. They help you so much when you're drawing characters and all that. And speaking of references, get yourself a collection of drawing books, uh, like how-to books. Pick it up, draw a couple other things every day, do it step by step. You know, I use them all the time when I was younger, and I still use them today every once in a while. If I feel like I'm in a drawing slump, I pick up one of the drawing books and I just start drawing step by step what they do. Now, just because you're getting into digital art, don't throw away your pencil and paper. I use my sketchbook every day. And it's great to do pre-sketches of your work, maybe scan it in and redraw it digitally. Uh, take it with you everywhere you go. Every time you get an idea, just draw it. You know, drawing is a muscle. You're gonna wanna work it out every single day. The last bit of advice I can give you, just keep drawing. You won't be an expert right away. I've been drawing for years and I am still learning. So don't get frustrated. You might make a couple bad drawings, but that's just part of the learning process. Just keep pushing through it and just keep drawing. So down in the description, I posted some links of some of the products and programs that we talked about today. Uh, make sure you really go and check those out. Don't let my work go in vain. Come on, get out there, draw, be a digital artist. Let's do it. All right, everyone, thank you for watching. And I truly hope that the information that I gave you guys today can really help you start your journey into digital art. Uh, now, if you have any questions or you feel I missed anything, please leave a comment below. And also, if you have any topics that maybe you'd want me to cover in another video, leave that below as well. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please like and subscribe for updates on further videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.